everybody. I'm just going to show you a little bit about using the unlocking formula for the Atelier Interactive Acrylics. Now, I love the Atelier Interactives. They have so much freedom. You can spray water on them to make them sort of gungy and they can blend. But if you've gone wrong and you want to take things out completely, you spray the unlocking formula on and I'll show you and it comes off so easily, so you have that control. You're not left with an image that you've painted over that's showing through your canvas if you don't want it to. So I'm just gonna spray that. This was done a few days ago, but this will work. I've done things even two years later. I can remember putting a working barge by the Rialto Bridge and it just didn't work. And I thought, how am I gonna make this painting work? and I, it was quite a heavy image and qu I'd used quite a lot of paint so I used the unlocking formula, took off the interactive paint and um, painted back a gondola and it just looks so different. So you just put this on rub with some towels or something, the paper's not so good. If it's a bit sort of solid you can um, just work it, rub your finger around. Now this will only work if you've only used interactive acrylics. If you've mixed anything that's not interactive with one of the colours, which you can do, it won't work to unlock it. So um, just bear that in mind if you do introduce anything because you need a definite colour, be sure that you never want to take it out. And I find these work amazingly well if you're doing a portrait or something, it gives you confidence. And so, you know, I'll probably just take this back until it's flat and then I'll repaint over the canvas uh, and start afresh. Well, it wasn't too much that I'd done before I realised that I had to stop it. In fact, what I was doing, I was filming and um, there was quite a lot of noise and I took it back once and I started to film again and there was a lot more noise. And so, yeah, I decided I'd be better off just taking it all out and starting again. I did this yesterday and I just ended up overworking it. I'm not happy with it, so the best thing is to get rid of it. Now, I've ended up putting a lot of paint on there, so to paint over that, I'm going to have a lot of bumps and stuff, and I just really want to try it from a different angle. So I'm just spraying this with lots of unlocking formula. And this might need a little bit more work in rubbing it out because there's a lot of layers of paint on this. But I do love the fact that I have the option of getting rid of some of that lumpy paint. And like I said, you could do this six months time, two years time I've done it, and it still carries on unlocking. And it obviously wouldn't do that with just water. You've got to use this special unlocking formula. Um, so what I will do is I will keep working that, and I'll show you when I've cleaned that up completely. Now I've been putting several layers on, wiping off the clean areas of towel, and I think this will probably be the final layer that we need to do. And I'm just soaking it well with the unlocking formula. Now normally you don't need to take it right down to the canvas like this. It's more to get you out of a mess maybe if you've been doing a portrait and you place the eye in the wrong place or something's in the wrong place. You can just take out a little section, get it sort of smooth so that when you paint back you're not sort of getting... Um, the other bits hitting you and sort of it, you're aware that you've made a mistake and it's showing through. So no, it's not always as drastic as taking the whole thing off like I'm doing now. It can be just little tiny bits on your painting and you let it dry and you paint back into it and it's all fine. And I think that will do it and that'll be good enough to paint over, redraw and then start again with my cow. I think those little bits of blobs will hurt but you could keep working if you wanted to but see how much paint has actually come off so once that's dry I can just paint over that with some more paint. Well, I hope that's helped to explain a little bit about how these amazing interactive acrylics work. Thank you for watching.